I'm a miracle teacher of the recognition of my own association in time with myself. I'm a teacher of a course in miracles that's here to demonstrate the idea that we are going to tell each other stories about a course, okay? I am here in a particular frame for you to represent to you my certainty that it's possible within the organization of yourself to tell you the story about A Course in Miracles and that you have entered into a frame of association of your own mind where you intend to participate in the idea that the organization of the mind training that is the proceeding is a story that we are already aware of in our identity with each other. This is why this is important. Somewhere within the framework of the effort in which you, I'm teaching you now, thank you, have been successful at the idea of the alteration of your concept of mind. You have made an agreement with me. Remember this, the, the first hour that we saw about this? How I began to teach you the mind training that occurred through the principles of the application of the possibility that you have enrolled in a teaching mechanism where each moment within the concept of yourself, it's possible for you to have a realization that there's an alteration of that going on within a factor of light huh? present with us when I came in here with you, present with us in the idea that I have brought this material in the possibility that in my mind-body formulation I have met in the circumstances of the conversion of light a redefinition of how I want to look at myself in my relationship with the idea that the text of A Course in Miracles, let's look just for a minute at here, I seem to have with me uh, a, a very old manuscript that is probably, I'm, I'm obviously in a body association of myself in space-time. I'm obviously aware that the proceeding by which I am representing myself as a body is called A Course in Miracles. I'm also aware that you, as a contingency of the idea of recognition of ourself within a space-time modality that I am representing to you as current in our efforts of the mind training, somewhere have made a dedication to foster with me the idea that contained within your mind, and now I'm representing my own illuminant mind, there was a possibility in the mind training that you would want to associate with me in the totality of the idea there was an alternative. So the hour that you saw on the entrance of this was the indication that the principles of A Course in Miracles in revolve and involving what you want to hear are going to be contained in our efforts to convince you within your own mind that there's always something else you can see in the correspondence of yourself, that there's always something else available to you. In the text of A Course in Miracles, I'm going to complete just a cycle of the idea of the necessity for the conceptual observation of yourself in order to determine the manner in which you want to employ the idea that miracles are available to you in the very fundamental recognition that all of the conflict, all of the pain, everything that you feel within your own mind is only going on within your own mind. This chapter number one tells you 
to make application of the miracle, which will be alternatives to what you want to see about yourself in your determination to find somewhere in space-time the solution that has enrolled you in the proceedings okay, of what we call the story of A Course in Miracles. You listen with me. This is chapter one, right out of the text, all right, that was spoken from the entirety into this continuum is very obviously not contained within the auspices by which I'm attempting to identify you, but require from me a determination that there has to be something else out in this world. Okay, as I look up into the universe, I see the billions of stars. I see that I appear to be within an association of myself, where no matter how much I examine alternatives, I can't appear to find the solution, so that I remain in what we called at the opening of this, say to me, fear. Yeah. Okay. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to you and offer you my certainty that you are very fearful at this moment, because it's true. I'm going to train your mind systematically to love rather than be afraid of me. Yet my encounter with you will be the direction in which you have accepted the notation of fear, yet hold on to it within a particular need to express yourself as a self-identity remaining fearful. Here's some miracle proceeding. Will you listen with me? Chapter one of the text. Listen. Can I tell that you're in mind training? Huh. You wouldn't be sitting here with me when I came in to this direction with you. Remember I said that I was determined that you would see me somewhere in this association and that I was going to offer you that solution? I'm offering you that solution right now. Watch and listen. Notice that when you watched at that moment, in chapter one, we reminded you that the conversion from the reflection of light that was a pertainment of your own association with yourself gave you a voice of direction to change the manner in which you were viewing your subjective association with the objective idea of who you are. Chapter one. Listen. Let's do some of these 50 lessons, shall we? A miracle is a correction, member introduced into false thinking by me. It acts as a catalyst, breaking up erroneous perception and reorganizing it properly. This places you under the one-man principle where perception is healed. Until this has occurred, knowledge of divine order is impossible. Listen, the Holy Spirit is the mechanism of miracles. He recognizes both God's creation and your illusions. He separates the truth from the false by his ability to perceive totally rather than perceptually. Are you listening to me? You see that? What I'm offering you is a change of mind that's occurring within the miracles. It does require practice in what you want to see in regard to the description I'm giving you conceptually about yourself. So you can see that the mechanism contained in the idea of alternative is always trying to increase the frequency of the idea that the power of decision to see something other than what you're presently seeing is what the miracle is, okay? Listen with me about this. Wholeness is the perceptual content of miracles. It contains everything. They thus correct or atone for the false perception of lack that you have about yourself. A major
major contribution of miracles is their strength in releasing you from your false sense of isolation, deprivation, and lack.